All right, Nifty Drifty Girl featuring a Kenmore convertible model 1625. Um, this is an all metal machine. It has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 built in stitches. Um, no cam capability. All the stitches are built in. Um, very easy to operate. It is a super high shank machine, and the super high shank is proprietary to Kenmore. It's not standard high shank. Um, cosmetically, this one's in pretty decent shape. It does have some scratches right here on this top panel um, right in front of the presser foot. Probably done with pins, pulling pins through to sew, I am assuming. Um, you've got your stitch width on the outer dial here. The inner dial is your stitch selector. Your outer dial here is your stitch length. And your inner dial here is an automatic built-in button holder. And your reverse is here. And feed dog drop is under this panel, which is a little lever here. That drops your feed dogs down. Now, if you just need to access your bobbin area, which is here on the arm, you just remove that top little panel by pushing the button on the end, and that allows you access to your bobbin and your feed dog drop lever. And it is a class 15 bobbin in there. Um, and that snaps right back on. To access the, the uh, free arm, you just pull. And quickly, you see that the free arm is exposed. And then when you're done, it goes right back on. just as quickly as it came off. And there is a little leg here that supports the bed while you're sewing, so if you're leaning down on it, you don't break it. So, double needle capable. It is a center homing machine, a bobbin winder on the top, and it is one amp. Um, PDF copy of the manual is included with this particular machine. And also included are some super high shank feet, the straight stitch foot, the satin stitch foot, um, cording and zipper foot, and this is a buttonhole foot. And this is your quilting guy that goes on your, your foot here. And also the straight stitch needle plate is included as well. And I've added a Q foot, which is for stretch and knit fabrics. And also included is a brand new pack of Q needles, which are for synthetic knits and stretch fabrics. So, very cool little machine. It is serviced and ready to go, of course. If you have any questions about this machine, please email my email that you see at the bottom underneath the video. And if you're lucky to go over to eBay and still find this machine available, grab it if you want it because these convertibles don't last long at all. Um, they're very versatile and being a Kenmore, it's very easy to operate. The tension stays balanced and it's an overall great machine. And anybody that follows my videos knows that I'm a Kenmore freak. so. It is what it is, but I, Kenmore's are just so much easier to operate than Singer's all the way around, period, um, especially with tension issues. So I'm going to run through some stitches for you. Machine very smooth, very straight. And this uses 15 by 1 needles from size 9 up to size 18. I'm going to go over to um, zigzag. Oh, I think my bobbin bobbin thread broke. Let's see. Oh, that's because it ran out of thread. My bobbin mm -hmm. ran out. So 
Let's see what else I got here ready to load. Uh, here we go. Get another red one on here. Sorry about that. Didn't realize that bobbin had two different colors of thread on it, so it ran out. Adjust this tension a little bit. Not a problem. Easy fix. Snap it in. And this machine, um, as you can see, is just fine on the tabletop. I do have some original Kenmore free arm cases available. If you're interested in one of those, let me know if they're not already listed. And we can get you one of those, but the case and the machine do ship separately. We do not if at all possible, ship machines inside cases because one or the other or both get damaged in transit. So, okay. Start this again. That's the back side. There we go. Nice, perfect zigzag. Let's go over here. Now, I'm going to switch over to the multi-point zigzag, which is just a flick of the dial. And this machine also has a stretch, to stretch which is built in, and I'm going to do one of those for you now. And that just involves switching from the red dot to the white dot that's color matched. White stitches are stretch, red stitches are regular. So now we're on a stretch stitch. You want to make sure you're all the way on six and four. And then you can see the fabric working up and back on the stretch stitch. back over here and I'm going to do some denim. Um, this is five layers of denim. Lots of lift in the presser foot so you can get your project under there. I'm using a size 16 needle. You can see this machine has no trouble. Great machine for jeans and other thick projects. Nice stitch there. Now this is three layers of leather. Not meant for all day, every day leather sewing, but if you have a project, this machine will handle it. If you have sticky fabric, you might want to invest in a walking or an even feed foot. See the leather? It's going just fine. Nice, nice stitch on the leather. That is a 1625 uh, convertible free arm machine. I'm Nifty Thrifty Girl on eBay. Run over there and grab it and email with questions.